Okay, my video got cut off early. Anyway, the vacuum gauge started to show a vacuum, and the problem I had was that this solenoid was not able to pass the signal because my check valve had no vacuum in it because the vac check valve was in backwards. If you want to check your car, the simple way to do it is you put a vacuum gauge on one of these hoses. If you take this thing off of here and you measure the vacuum on that hose down there, you'll be able to see if it's working. This is when the engine is cold. You can also use a T like I did. And if you use a T, you can monitor the vacuum and you can have it connected at the same time. My problem was I wasn't getting vacuum coming up this hose. It wasn't coming out. It wasn't going to this Y, which feeds the smog pot on the left and the right. And as a result, the air was blowing in here. My pump was running. My relay had gone bad. My pump was running and it was trying to blow air in here, but the smog pot never opened. I believe that's why my smog pump was running 22, 22 amps of current because this was not open. I might do an experiment and put a meter on the uh, air pump again to see what the air pressure is in the morning when it starts up, when it's cold, and the signal opens the smog pot. I suspect with these being open, the current draw is much smaller. It also makes me believe the relay on the uh, radio, uh, the RCM module is failing because you don't have these opening. If these don't open, the head pressure is much higher on the compressor, this compressor, and as a result, the current going into it is much higher. Also, I put some copper um, anti-seize compound on here, which is uh, a good way to keep corrosion out. I used uh, this 100% pure copper uh, anti-seize compound, but any anti-seize compound will help keep the connection cleaner. I didn't even wipe it off so you can see it. So if you want to check your uh, PO410, put a vacuum gauge on here and verify when the engine is cold, C-O-L-D, cold, that you get pressure going through the smog pot. To do that, you'll see a vacuum signal here. And like I said, you can use a T if you want to. But it's real important. If you don't get vacuum here, the hose is either bad, the solenoid is bad, or you have a problem with uh, some of the piping. This pipe goes underneath the supercharger, and if it fails, you'll never see it. It'd be a real monster to fix. If that failed, I would just run a hose across the top. Whatever. Anyway, this is why I've been going crazy with my car, because my... Uh, code would come up about every 90 miles. I'd almost get the uh, computer reset because if you clear the codes, once you clear the codes, it takes about 100 miles of driving before the car's emissions ready. It has to reset all the calibrations and uh, every 90 miles the thing would fail on me, driving me cuckoo. A short trip, I'm sure. Y'all enjoy. This is Woody. Good day.